Hi guys, how's it going? Got a little bit of a problem here, as you might be able to see. Oop. So have you ever had a situation where you have a few too many bots chasing you and you need to do something about it? Maybe you want to protect your farm. Well, I've got a solution for you. So if you just come with me one second. As you can see over here, we've got a turret set up. And this turret, we'll see these bad boys. We'll find them, we'll lock onto them, and we'll absolutely mince them. If you want to know how to build it? I'm going to show you. It's using the Fant mod, and it's pretty easy. All you need is, well, all of this stuff, especially if you want to build it in survival. So what have we got? We've got two mounted spud guns. We've got a battery container. We've got ammo container. We've got the unit facer. We've got a 3x3 three three gyroscope. Level 5 sensors with color indicator. That's the important bit. You need some logic and we need a laser. You also need a few bearings. You also need a switch and you need pipe or block. And it's real easy. So what you want to do is this is going to be where we build it. And we're going to put it up here. So this will let me start off. So number one, one bearing. And then I use pipe just because it's a lot neater. So you want this to be odd so that you've got a middle piece. And then for this, you want to go three small pipes, one big pipe. And that will give you the perfect height so that this can swing through the middle without getting stuck on the bottom. And you need that to have as much freedom as you possibly can. Freedom is important. Get your corners on. Now this is where you need your second bearing. So your second bearing is going to go up here. You need to colour one of these, but that's the one that you're going to connect to the unit facer. To make it easy, colour them both. Can't go wrong. Leave this bearing the normal colour. It has to be blank. Then we're going to come in here. Then we're going to get this interesting piece of pipe up here and then we're gonna do unit facer now place the unit facer correctly the eyelid as it were needs to be on the top as you may be able to see there eyelids on the top and i'm gonna go bearing pipe gyroscope the reason why we use a three by three is because it has a middle now it doesn't matter if the gyroscope is this way or this way it does not matter because ultimately what we're going to get it to do is going to get it to trigger to spin on the laser the laser goes in the middle and the reason why it doesn't matter which way it goes is because it'll either spin to the left or the right and when you're making a turret unless you have a real need it doesn't matter which way it goes put our two mountable spud guns on and then we want our level five sensor to go opposite those spud guns okay the reason why we need the level 5 sensor is because we want to range, put it about 3, and we want the colour mode to be on. So we're building this like we're building it in survival, colour mode on. And the reason why that colour mode goes on is because we want it to pick up this block up here, which we are going to paint black. Now to wire this up, you go laser to gyroscope, and then your unit facer goes to this bearing, and it goes to one of these bearings. One of these has to be painted. Doesn't matter which one's painted as long as you connect to the painted bearing. So that is basically it. Now we need to weld this up to our ground plate, as it were. So this will be up here. And then we need some logic. Now this logic is for the laser. The reason that I do this is because Sure, I only have two spud guns at the minute, but if I have more, it makes it easier to find. So what I basically do is I go and gate, and gate. Take the laser input, take the sensor input, fire this spud gun. So basically this spud gun will only fire when this laser passes that black block. Same with this one. Take this sensor and this laser input and fire this spud gun and why we do that is simply because i want the appropriate spud gun to fire i don't want them all to fire at the same time so i just do a little bit of logic down here like this 
In order for our unit facer to work, we need a battery container. So we link our battery container up to the unit facer and we'll fill this. So that is full. And now as we're pretending to be in survival mode, we get our ammo crate. We'll connect the ammo crate up to the spud gun. And we'll fill our ammo crate up with spuds. Awesome. Take a switch, because you need a switch. Connect that to your unit facer. Fine tunes, unit facer, set your distance. Your distance is in blocks. So I'm gonna go 70 blocks. And then you wanna set your laser. Set your laser distance. So I'll go for about 40 blocks. So it'll pick up the unit on the unit facer first. And then when it's in range, the laser will blap it. We also need to change the laser as it says all units. We need to change that to non-player. Now what I like to do is turn this on and to make sure it's working, if we spray the switch red, we'll get a code come up and this is spun round. As you see, it's facing the wrong way, which means this bearing needs reversing. So we reverse that round. And now you can see it's not very happy. It's following me. Now it's not shooting, but that's because the laser is set to all non-player. Now, if I set that to distance, it will smash me in the face. So if I go, oop, boom, you'll see that it's working. As soon as I'm out of range, it stops shooting me. If I come into range of the laser, I get a headache. So what we're going to do now is remove the color off that switch. So now it'll shoot for robots. Or it'll look for robots, but obviously it's still shooting for distance. So we need to turn that to non-player units. Now it's just a test. We'll fill up the crate and we'll go get our tote bot. So we'll take him out just so we can get a little bit more. Break these bad boys up. Get him close enough to the range of the unit facer. So you go, unit facer's picked him up already. And we'll say close enough to the laser. Absolutely minced him. You can make this slower if you go into the gyroscope and turn it down so it doesn't spin as violently. Sometimes this can be handy if you've got a lot of spud guns on there that you don't want to smag around everywhere. You'll still see it's pretty quick even though. There you go. There's a thing with the gyroscope is the speed builds over time. That's what I've noticed. It doesn't stay at a constant speed. It's more like a speed ramp where it increases. And so as a little test... Out here we've got 30 tote bot capsules. If we pop those capsules, we'll run those bad boys through the turret. Whoa. And we'll see what happens to them. Now this is in creative, so there's literally unlimited ammunition. Let's see how well this handles this. It's doing its best. It's just two spud guns trying to take on a 30 tote box. And I'd say, really, this is a pretty good job. So that's how you build a little mini turret. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take it easy. Bye for now. Bye.